Hello and welcome to this Gibbscam tech tip on post-processor modification and edits. We're going to go over what files are required today for a submission to the post department to get your Gibbscam post-processor edited or modified. One of the things we obviously need is a completed VNC file with tools and operations as like the one that we see here on the screen. What we're going to do is go ahead and take our VNC file and open the post processing dialog. Ensure that our post processor is loaded. Give our G code file a name. And we're going to put that in a location where we know where it's at so we can go and retrieve it for emailing to the post department later. One of the other things that is convenient to do is to turn off, uh, turn on the line numbers so that we have line number output. Makes it easier to locate where we want edits. And insert comments is nice as well. Under files, preferences, post processor comments, you can tailor those to the types of comment outputs you'd like. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and process this file. And we get our posted G code file. And now we can start doing our edits. I'm going to come down here and what we'd like to do is move this M8 off in this particular line. And put it down on the next line, which is essentially our, our plane. Making the coolant come on closer to the part. Uh, and so we just ask it to remove M8 from this line. And we're going to come down here and I generally put a little visual separation between the lines where edits are going to go. Uh, and then we're going to request the M8 <coughs> to be placed on this line. M8 here. And then one other correction we'd like to make is we'd like to add a next tool call on this line here. And in our case, example would be a T20 is our next next tool. This just preps the tool changer, so a little quicker tool change time. I'm going to come here and save as our edited file. Put that in the location again where we know where it's at. And we're going to rename this file to edited so I know the difference between the two. And we're going to request a save. And that takes care of the posted G code and the edits required. Now we need a bundled Gibbscam package. We're going to do that by going to file, exchange, pack and go. And what this is going to do is go ahead and bundle all these files together in one package file. So we have one simple file that we can submit that the post developer can use as a reference. We'll go ahead and say we're going to create that package. We're going to put it in the same location as our edited G code. You can see here that it has a different file extension than your generic VNC file. We're going to save that pack and go file and you'll see the software go through a process of saving and bundling all these files together. The refresh of the software is normal. Uh, once that's completed, now we have the files that are required for submission. We've got a pack and go. We've got a text file that's been edited and we can submit that to a local reseller. Uh, if they're too large to e email, you can reach out to your local reseller for uh, a link to upload. If this and any other Gibbscam questions you might have, feel free to reach out to your local reseller. They'd be glad to give you assistance. 